uh, regardless of the result, which is a shorter result, definitely. But, uh, it's a defeat anyway. So, um, extremely well defended the whole game. That's absolutely outstanding work in the markings, in, the, in defending the box, defending the set pieces. That's been absolutely top level. Uh, but then, and we talk of about that in the halftime, uh, we lack a bit of confidence in the... We could have played more with the ball in the first half. We have a couple of combinations, but we didn't have enough. We lack a little bit of, 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 of confidence in that. That could have given us a little bit more of, of depth in the, in, the first, in the first more attacking situations. And in the second half, slowly, we got extremely... We got exhausted. And it's normal. Uh, they are physically... Ex very strong team, but very proud of the team. Uh, we have to take the positives, which is uh, the energy, the attitude, uh, not never giving up uh, against uh, the 24 in the world, World Cup team. And definitely we will take, um, today we are a better team than yesterday, and that is always the, 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 the objective. Now uh, we, we will do our best to get a, a positive result in, against Lebanon. Question. It was heavy, yeah, more than muddy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit muddy, but it was heavy. Depends on how you see it, because also you get much more um, the, the muscles. No, they get you get tired before. No, if, if we were running a lot, uh, so maybe at the beginning it was better for us, no, because they found it a little bit uncomfortable for them to move the ball quicker or. But uh, in the end, if you see, we were suffering more than them uh, physically. We were struggling a lot, and that's also the pitch, no? But to me, the pitch was totally playable. Uh, after the rains that we have had in these the last two, three days, I think. Playable. Playable, yeah, absolutely. But I understand, but, uh, and I understand him, because they are used to playing top elite facilities, but there are others. Not everything in football is top elite facilities. No? There are many countries like us that we do our best to have good facilities, and we are developing. And, uh, I think the pitch that where we are playing is very, very decent pitch for 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 Asian competitions right now. I mean, I think there are worse football grounds of national teams in Asia. Much worse than our than our pitch. Our pitch is a very decent pitch to play, no doubt. Today was a good. It was heavy, but you could play football perfectly, perfectly. Yeah, but again, to me, it's not the result. We go again to the same. To me, it wasn't about the result in the 7-0, and it's not about the result in the 2-0. It's about the performance. And we had more confidence today. And we were less, we had less fear today. And we were able, we, were, we had more personality. We were more brave. And that is what is really positive. And that is going to have a positive impact, hopefully, against Lebanon. Uh, yeah, but yes, 2-0. Against the number 24, yes, if you want to go to the result, all right. It's a better, it's a better result than the 7-0, definitely. But it's about the performance, again. The way we defended today, the way we defended the set plays, uh, is very high level. Very high level. Decision. Why? Why surprising? There is 23 players in the squad. Technical decision. Technical decision. That's all the decisions. Yeah. Uh, he worked very hard and he was a good coach. But besides, you were very impressed. Not only you. They said he said that Bangladesh defender plays very well and Bangladesh is a player full credit. They only for two zero score line. So what do you think about his comments? He's a very to me, he's a good coach. I had, uh, I was lucky to meet him more personally in the in the national team coaches conference in, in Malaysia. Uh, and he's a very good guy, a very humble guy, and I think he's a very good coach. 
So, so yeah, I take it very positive. But again, it's the it's up to pray, he's praising the team. I mean, it's the work we are doing all together and and, uh, and the good performance of today. Yeah. Coach, uh, our World Cup qualifying home match is finished. Now, I, now we have only one match in away match. Uh, long time we have no record win against uh, uh, in World Cup qualifying match. Long time we have not record win. Can Bangladesh make something in Qatar field against? Uh, we have all the. That is our intention. I mean, we will go there to win. That for sure. Then we will see what happens. Uh, Lebanon is a strong team also. Lebanon is also a strong team. And let's see what happens. I don't know what time they were playing against Palestine, but if they win against Palestine and they beat us, they have chances to qualify for the next round. So it's going to be a tough game. But again, it's, it's going to be an exciting game that definitely will help us to keep improving. What should we look like the three months back then? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it, these guys, to me, the, one of the best things that this team has is that they always trust whatever they tell them. Uh, we told them that we are changing to a line of five, and we are working on that on four days. They don't say anything, they work, and they perform. Uh, and I'm very happy with that again. But I don't, I, I don't have any doubt with these players. They always, their attitude and, and the initiative they have, the mentality is, is great. So, yeah, it went well. I think it went well. It helped us more to be closer to the crosses and to be marking closer the two strikers. So, we defended it. Second goal, since I couldn't watch it, but yeah, but well, those are situations. Yeah, probably it's a fall, uh, but football. Coach, uh, I'm happy with the performance again, yes, but we play in four days. So we don't have much. Uh, we will take the positive things, adjust it to Lebanon, and fight again. Coach, uh, in terms of uh, defeat margin, uh, uh, Bangladesh have played the worst match against uh, Australia in uh, Melbourne. And in terms of result, uh, Bangladesh played the uh, best match against Australia, Australia today. Uh, how do you explain it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, um, we don't compare much. Uh, good is good. Ob obviously, it's positive. That is the best result till now. But. Uh, but again, um, to me, it's a positive performance because the team has been able to. We analyze well their weaknesses, let's say, or where we could be stronger compared to the first game, and we and the players were able to develop that uh, perfectly. So, but that is the that is the point. I think actually the the reason is that we have prepared well in in very short time. We have been very clear with what we needed from the team, and the team took the ideas very quickly and put it on the pitch. That has been good. Uh, last question. Jamal dropped from the 11. What is the Technical reason or his poor performance? Technical reason, Jamal always. Behaving and as a captain always is as a top behavior, and, uh, and and he has been playing in the last four or five weeks with with Abahani. So there's no it's just according to what we see, what we need the team. We put some players. As soon as Rana got injured, Jamal got in. So it's no we have full belief in Jamal, no, no doubt. It's all about the plan, no? Let's see what happened with Rana because he had some some issues in the knee. So we will have to think about that uh, to finalize the list to go to to Qatar. But today evening, uh, Sufian will check all the players and and we will make the list accordingly. Okay, and this is my last question. So yes, the last question. Hey. No, I think. I think Tarek is used different to Rana. Rana, I think, felt something in the knee. Let's see what happened. Uh, Tarek, I think, is a lack of uh, minutes. He's been a long time not playing for more than 60 minutes. He was getting cramps, and that's a different. He can recover for Lebanon. Thank you. Thank you so much.